Hi class! For today, we're going to continue the differentiation rules, right? So we have discussed the constant rule, the identity rule, the power rule, and the constant multiple rule. So sa video na to, we're going to discuss the sum and difference rule, right? But before that, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, Kindly click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Let's start. Sum and difference rule. If f of x and g of x are differentiable functions, then d dx f of x plus minus g of x is equal to d dx f of x plus minus d dx g of x. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? So, yung functions na pinag separate ng plus or minus. So, ang gagawin nyo is sukunin nyo muna yung derivative ng bawat isa sa kanila before kayo mag-perform ng operation na plus or minus. Alright? So, for example, we have here f of x is equal to 5x raised to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus 6x plus 8. So, again, So, dito sa sum and difference rule, kukunin muna natin yung derivative ng bawat isa sa kanila. Alright? So, yung una natin kukunin is yung derivative ng 5x raised to the fourth power. Then, i-add natin sa derivative ni 3x cubed. Then, subtract natin sa derivative ni 6x. And, add natin sa derivative ng ating constant. Alright? So, the derivative of 5x to the 4th power, remember nyo yung constant multiple rule. So, kung hindi nyo pa alam, may, mayroon tayong ibang video about constant multiple rules. So, I'll put the link below para masundan nyo itong sum and difference rule. So, dapat alam nyo muna yung other rule like constant rule, power rule, identity, and constant multiple rule bago kayo pumunta dito sa sum and difference rule. Alright? So, here, yung derivative ng 5x raised to the fourth power. So, again, yung, so yung gagawin natin, apply natin yung constant multiple rule. So, i-bring down natin yung power dito. Then, mumultiply natin siya sa coefficient. Okay? Then, i-reduce natin ng 1 yung power. So, yung derivative naman ng 3x cubed, ganun din yung gagawin natin. Bring down natin yung power. Ayan, then, less nyo siya ng 1. Okay, and yung derivative ng ating 6x from identity rule, yung x natin dapat is, yung derivative niya is 1. So, 6 times 1 is 6, okay? Pwede din naman siyang power rule, power rule kasi may understand na mayroon siyang power na 1. So, kung yung susubtract natin yung power niya ng 1, minus 1, that is 0. So, maging x raised to 0. And yung... Kung naalala nyo, yung zero exponent, law of zero exponent, so any number or constant, any number or variable raised to zero exponent that is equal to 1. So, same pa rin yung answer natin, 6 times 1, right? Then, derivative ng constant, so any number, yung derivative niya is always zero. So, zero na to. Okay, so next is simplify natin. So, we have 5 times 4, that is 20. Then, 4 minus 1, that is 3. So, 20x raised to the third power. Plus, we have 3 times 3, 9. 3 minus 1, that is 2. So, 9x squared. Minus 6 times x raised to the third power or 6 times 1. Okay? Plus 0. So, pwede na natin hindi isulat sa 0 since 0 naman siya. Okay? So, we have 20x cubed plus 9x squared minus 6 times 1. Ayan. So, we still derive 6 times 1. So, pwede na itong dito ay diretsyo nyo na ng 6 times 1. Since yung x natin is nakadegree lang ng 1. Okay? Kung gagawin, kung gagawin nyo naman ito, still ganun pa rin yung magiging sagot niya. Okay? So, therefore, yung derivative ng f of x is equal to 5x raised to the fourth power plus 3x cubed minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 20x cubed plus 9x squared minus 6. Alright? 
So another example we have y is equal to 6x raised to the 4th power minus 7x cubed plus 5x squared. Okay, so sa so sum and difference rule, kukunin muna natin yung difference or derivative ng bawat isa. Okay, so yung derivative ng x or derivative ng 6x raised to the 4th power. So bring down natin yung power and less natin siya ng 1. Okay, ganun din yung gagawin natin sa pangalawa and then sa pangatlo. Alright, so 6 times 4, that will give us 24 x raised to 4 minus 1, 3. Okay, so 7 minus 7 times 3, that is 21. So 3 minus 1, that is 2. So 21x squared. Plus 5 times 2, that is 10. 2 minus 1, that is 1. So therefore, yung derivative ng y is equal to 6x raised to the 4th power minus 7x cubed plus 5x squared is 24x cubed minus 21x squared plus 10x. Alright? To sum it up, dito sa ating sum and difference rule, the derivative of the sum and difference of two differentiable function is equal to the sum of difference of their derivatives. So, all you have to do is so kunin nyo muna yung derivatives ng bawat terms or bawat isa sa kanila sa, sa, sa function na iyon. Alright? Saka kayo mag-perform ng sum and difference. Okay? So that's all for today class. Don't forget to do a thumbs up, share, click subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified on our next lesson. Thank you!